Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Alison and in today's video or in this video we're going to be talking about which deodorants to use when you have eczema. Now I'm only going to trial four different deodorants I'm, because I'm going to trial them over several days. Before we continue I'm going to say remember to like, subscribe, share and comment and also hit that notification so you'll know when the next video is coming out. Now, first of all, I want to just explain to you that there is a difference between a deodorant and an antiperspirant. Now, an antiperspirant, the idea of that is to reduce or stop how much you are sweating under your arm. Whereas a deodorant is just there to help, well, when you are sweating, it's just to reduce and help reduce the actual odor that's coming from your sweat. Now, sweat in itself doesn't stink, but obviously when it starts to dry on the underarm, bacteria is formed and that is what smells. So some deodorants mask the smell, some deodorants have like an actual compounds in there which try to prevent the actual smell as well. So without further ado, let's get on. Originally, I stopped using antiperspirants because I became aware that there was actual aluminium in antiperspirants. Now, research was done in the past, and I, and I think the most recent research might have been in the 1990s, but there probably is more research out there. And what they found was the link between aluminium from deodorants and um, aluminium in the brain of Alzheimer's patients, and also aluminium in breast tissue of those people who had breast cancer. So I made the decision uh, probably about three or four years ago to stop using antiperspirants for that reason, even though the research itself wasn't conclusive. Um, I decided to stop using um, antiperspirants and switch to deodorants only. It was then I decided to switch to uh, deodorants which I like the smell of. So my first mistake was switching to deodorants that still had fragrance in them. So my eczema did continue. Um, only when I started looking more into the different deodorants that were available because more deodorants became available on the market that I realized that fragrance in itself could also irritate my skin and therefore create eczema. So I then stopped using anything with synthetic fragrance and switched to using either deodorants with essential oils or no fragrance whatsoever. Now, when I first started looking at different deodorants, like I mentioned, um, I did make a couple of mistakes along the way. The first mistake I made was when I bought uh, this one. This is Beyonson. It's a mineral protective deodorant and it's for sensitive skin. It is paraben and alcohol free. It's also aluminium free. However, as an eczema sufferer, this does have synthetic fragrance in it. Um, I used it for a while. I wasn't massively impressed with uh, it stopping my uh, actual body odor. The only reason that was, is when I used it during the day, it was fine, but when, obviously as a fitness instructor, um, I was sweating a lot. And I did find that I did get a bit stinky, so I didn't use this for long. And once I realized it did have synthetic perfume, I stopped using it. The next one I did try was from Lush, um, and it's called the Grinch, with lots of E's in there. This is a deodorant powder. The only issue I had with this is as a powder, it gets everywhere and I did use a powder puff just to put it on the underarm not good when you're teaching because you get big white residue a big white patch under the arm um, so really this didn't work very well as an as a fitness instructor which is why I stopped using this one so if you're someone who wants to keep it away from liquids and just try a powder this is the one to try um, it does have natural essential oils in there one thing I'm, I'm not understanding about the ingredients is it does say perfume in here and then after the perfume, it does say tea tree essential oil in there. So I don't know if it just has tea tree essential oil in there or if it also has perfume. So that's something I need to look into. So I thought I'd warn you about those two. So this one I keep away from because it has fragrance. That's the Beyonce. Uh, even though it's aluminium free, it does uh, is uh, paraben free and uh, alcohol free. And it's supposed to be for sensitive skin, but my ex it did trigger off. This one didn't trigger off anything, so I was happy with it, but dust goes everywhere. The only way to control that is, like I said, to use a little powder puff, the one that you'd normally use on your face, very, very cheap, pound shop jobby. That brings us on to the four that I've either tried or I'm in the process of trying. Now, all four of these are 100% natural. This one is called Salt of the Earth Classic, and it's actually like a salt stick. The only thing I didn't like about this was the fact that you have to wet the actual stick first and then rub it onto your underarm. Now, this is one of the first natural ones I did use. It doesn't have any kind of scent at all. So if you want to go completely fragrance-free, this is probably the one for you. Um, you did need to rub quite a lot on there. The only downfall of this, and I learned the hard way, is if you drop it, 
the salt does smash it's a solid block of salt it does smash once it's smashed um, it's really really sharp pieces that you're using on your underarm so be really really careful with this one I will test it in a little while and let you know how it goes this one by native deodorant I have not tried yet now one thing I do like about this now this is citrus and herbal musk it's paraben free it's aluminium free but what I do like about this is the fact that it does have lactobacillus acidophilus which means it's got a probiotic ingredient in there um, and I guess probiotics are good for the skin they're, they're normally things you actually take into the mouth which are really really good for the gut but a lot more products nowadays are having actual probiotics which go on the skin as well so I'm gonna I'm hoping this is a really really good one the other two I um, I'm going to try this one is called so effective deodorant liquid gel now this does have witch hazel in it so it'd be interesting to find out uh, what it's like but it doesn't have bicarbonate of soda or sodium bicarbonate I got this because it does have a peppermint essential oils in there and I do like the smell of that. And then the last one we're going to try is has activated charcoal. Now it doesn't have witch hazel in there but it does have sodium bicarbonate. Oh it does have sweet almond oil in there so if you do have a, um, a nut allergy you can't use this one. This one is an actual balm so again it's going to be really interesting um, what it's like. They are all vegan, they are all aluminium free, the four that I'm going to try. They are, like I said before, they're all 100% natural. They all, except for this one, the salt of the earth, they all do have essential oils in there. And that's why I've chosen them as well, because I am going to be sweating a lot when I teach. So um, on the next shot, you're going to see me using the deodorants. You're going to see me dress differently because I'm going to be using them over different, several different days. So watch this space. So I'm going to try two different deodorants, one on the left and one on the right. One is a liquid and one is a balm, which is why I'm going to use these two. I'm also teaching at the gym today, um, so it's an ideal time to try to see if there's going to be a scent or if it's, good, if it's actually going to help at all. So the first one I'm going to try is a deodorant called So Effective and it's a liquid, a deodorant liquid gel. It's also vegan. So the reason I like this one is because I chose to get a fragranced one. So it's fragranced with uh, peppermint essential oils and I've used this before. It does have soothing aloe vera and cucumber and also witch hazel with a subtle hint of spearmint. And I've got to say, before I purchased this one, I was a bit dubious, but I absolutely love the smell. So because I purchased this one, you actually sometimes get a sample. So I'm gonna use a sample up first. So let's give this a go. So the reason we're testing this is to see if it can withstand smell. So I'm gonna be sweating for at least two hours because I'm teaching a class. And then straight after I am participating in a class. So I have body conditioning where I'm gonna sweat and Pilates, where I'm doing a lot of movement and core work. So I'm definitely gonna have a sweat there. So that's the So Effective deodorant gel. Now the next one I'm gonna try is, called, is by a company called Proco and it's got activated charcoal in this and it's a natural deodorant balm. Now again, you have to rub it in with your fingers. It's again, it's a vegan one, it's aluminium free and that's one of the reasons we are trying these. So this also has a, a refreshing smell to it. It's not as strong as the gel, but I do really like this smell. You're supposed to use a pea size amount, so I'm gonna get a nice dollop there. I'm gonna rub this in. So I wouldn't normally be putting this deodorant on or any of these deodorants on whilst wearing clothing because I don't like getting deodorant marks on my clothes. But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep it clean. I'm going to rub this in. Now this is a lot thicker, which is a good thing actually, but we'll see how it works when I'm actually training. Um, I have tried deodorants in the past and I do find that sometimes they can feel a bit stiff on the arm, but also having dark skin depending on which deodorant you go for, sometimes they leave a really strong white residue on there. So when I'm teaching, I have to make the decision whether to wear deodorant or not, or then to wash my underarms straight after and then put the deodorant on. So I'm hoping with these ones, they tick the boxes for everything. It smells really good. It's got a really natural smell to it. So these deodorants are 100% natural, which is why I also chose them. So I'm hoping they don't trigger off any kind of eczema. I do have a little bit of eczema on my underarm right now as a result of taking, taking antibiotics. So all I would say with these is once you have used them, you're going to have to wash your hands straight away. So make sure your hands are clean before you put the deodorant on and then wash your hands straight after. 
see you on the next one hello 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 i have just finished teaching this is richard he's gonna prove that i was teaching because i don't really sweat very much i glow okay so have a look at his man sweat there we go <laughs> He's just participated in body conditioning. Um, the deodorants have done really, really well. We did the sniff test, didn't we? Yeah. You're going to sniff it? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I do not stink. I kid you not, I do not stink. So um, thumbs up so far. See you on the next one. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym and I'm about to get in the shower. So um, I just thought I'd quickly do another sniff test. <laughs> I've done uh, body conditioning this morning and then straight after I did Pilates. So you saw the video straight after body conditioning when the sweat was fresh and it did not smell at all. Well, either that or my nose was blocked, but Richard did verify he couldn't smell anything. Thank you, Richard. So I'm gonna do a sniff test now, now that the actual sweat is dry before I jump into the shower. So on this side, we used uh, the So Effective, which was the gel, liquid gel. Let's give it a quick sniff. No smell, so so far impressed. And on this side, we used the Procol London Activated Charcoal Natural Deodorant Balm. This one here. And again, no smell. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to use both these deodorants for a few more days, simply because being female, obviously depending on what time of the month it is, your smell can be different when it comes to the hormone change and your smell of your sweat. Um, so I'm going to give it a few more days just to be fair. Um, so watch this space and I'll get straight back to you with another sniff test and let you know how the deodorants did. Now tomorrow I'm not at the gym so um, we'll see how it smells. It might have smelled the actual perfume or the essential oil, sorry. It might smell stronger because I haven't been putting it through the sweat test. So let's see you in the morning. Good morning. It is morning number two. I'm going to put the same deodorants on this morning because I'm not doing any sport and I want to see how long the essential oils in each of them does last. So, uh, back to the same as before. Same, uh, this is So Effective Deodorant Liquid Gel. I'm just going to put some on the fingers. On the left side, I'm going to rub that in. All the way up, all the way down. And I didn't mention what was actually in this one yesterday, probably because I can't read it. Let's have a look, see what's in this. Tapioca starch, shea butter, um, coconut oil. It does have sodium bicarbonate. And I know some people with eczema, in fact, some people with sensitive skin can actually re react to sodium bicarbonate. And that is actually um, baking soda or um, bicarbonate of soda. For the English, baking soda for the Americans. We've got cocoa seed oil in here, sweet almond oil. Um, so if you have a nut allergy, you can't use this. Um, and then again, it has the different essential oils in here. Tea tree, lavender. That's why it's got such a nice smell. But uh, yeah, this one's the bomb. It's slightly thicker. And interestingly enough, I thought it'd feel sticky all, all day or all the time that I was using it. It didn't. And when I had a shower yesterday, it actually felt my, made my underarm feel quite soft. So let's give that a go. Got to say, these are both... Uh, equally as good as each other at the moment. The only difference is when I jumped in that shower, my right underarm from the one with the activated charcoal did feel softer. So if you're looking to moisturize, fantastic. And the balm does have sodium bicarbonate in it, like I said, whereas the gel doesn't. At least I hope it doesn't, I'll double check. I've been using it for a while now. Um, one thing to point out, when my eczema was at its worst, um, again, caused by antibiotics, not by the deodorant, the only reason I knew I had eczema is because the essential oils in there did give it that stingy effect. But I uh, mixed my deodorant with some neem oil. Neem oil, again, it's a very strong smell, not liked by some. It's a love it or hate it smell. But I mixed my deodorant with the neem oil and it was okay. But what I would say is if you do have um, eczema under your arm, then go for an unfragranced type. So with no essential oils in there. I will let you know how it gets on during the day. morning it's day two of testing the deodorants gonna try the same deodorants again one on the right and one on the left and just to say that I didn't really explain the ingredients of this particular one yesterday the activated charcoal now this does have sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda or bicarbonate of soda 
Some people can be irritated by this and because this video is about using uh, de correct deodorants for eczema, I thought I should warn you about that. What I did find, however, was that when I had the shower yesterday, my underarm felt incredibly soft. Now, um, it does have ingredients such as, let's have a quick look, um, tapioca starch, it has shea butter, uh, coconut oil, sodium bicarbonate, which I pointed out, cocoa seed oil, as it also has almond oil, so I guess for those who have got a nut allergy, you can't use this. Now, the two things that, I could, that smelled really nice in this, I picked up on yesterday, was lavender, to, uh, lavender essential oils and tea tree essential oils it was really nice I've got to say this one was so effective uh, deodorant liquid gel it doesn't have sodium bicarbonate but it does have witch hazel which probably explains why um, when my eczema was triggered off by the antibiotics and I used it it felt a little bit stingy um, to get around that what I did is I mixed the deodorant with it because it because it is a gel and mixed it with a little bit of neem oil now you've heard me talking about neem oil on the previous videos it's an anti-inflammatory oil it's also soothing it's not the best smell love it or hate it but it works fantastically well so I did mix that particular deodorant with neem oil now the other thing you can do is this these particular companies also have a fragrance free option so you do have that option okay so let's give these a go so we're going to go with the uh so effective first on the right side nice big squirt there put that on all the way up up here all the way down here i like to make sure it goes on my right in the armpit or the underarm so there's no area missed and then we're going to try the activated charcoal. Now, interestingly enough, I thought it would leave a stain. It did not. And I wore a white top yesterday. I'm going to wear another white top today just to see how it does go. So like I said before, this is a bomb, so it's quite thick, but it does spread really, really easily. I do actually love the smell of this. I couldn't choose between the two of them, which one I liked, them more, liked more, because I love the smell of a spearmint from the so effective, but I also love the lavender and tea tree smell from the activated charcoal. So do remember when you're applying this, wash your hands before and straight after, okay? But other than that, see I'm using the clean fingers there, the clean thumbs. Other than that, I will let you know how it goes. See you soon. Hello again, I've just finished training in the gym and I'm gonna do the sniff test and the white residue test. So here we go, no white residue. A little bit, but not much. Here's the sniff test. No smell. No smell, but if you don't believe me, I'm going to get a couple of friends and colleagues to, to do the sniff test, so do the honours, Andrew and Christina. <laughs> Fresh? Fantastic, they passed. Perfect. It's another morning, it's another day, and we're going to try two new different deodorants because I'm teaching a, a indoor cycling class this morning. I'm going to try Salt of the Earth Classic which is the, uh, like a salt stick really, it's an effective natural deodorant. And this one is unscented, so here we go. I've also pre-wet this one. Very important, this one has to be wet first. So I'm gonna go completely overboard and put loads of this on simply because I'm going to sweat a lot or glow a lot in my indoor cycling class. And I really do not want to smell. Okay. This one is native. This is citrus and herbal musk, and it's paraben free and aluminium free as expected. And again, it's a natural deodorant. So this one is completely new. I've not tried this one yet. It smells nice. It's not offensive. A slight citrusy smell. Also to me, it has like a, a bit of a, um, a citronella or um, eucalyptus smell, something in between. So I'm putting this on quite a bit now again. Now this is a stick, so I'm wondering if that's gonna leave white residue, but again, I'll have to check later. See you in a while. Just about to leave the house, and this one has no white residue. This is the salt of the earth, but the native does. So before I leave, I'm gonna to have to rub it in a little bit. So just thought I'd let you know. I've just finished teaching an indoor cycling class, but as always, I am sweaty, but you can't see it. So the evidence is this, first of all, the salt stick, there's no stink, but um, obviously no perfume in there, no um, essential oils. Um, native, again, no stink. So, so far, I'm really impressed with them both. So just in case you don't believe me, Linda has volunteered to do the sniff test for me. So, <laughs> Linda, what do you reckon? 
I've got very brave volunteers. Anything. No? No. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> there you go. No stink. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just about to jump into the shower. So I'm going to do a quick sniff test. Hang on a second. We have Salt of the Earth Classic on the left and we have Native Deodorant Citrus and Herbal Musk on the right. Let's give it a quick whiff. No smell. All I can smell is my natural body odour, which isn't stinky. And yet, all I can smell for this one is the essential oils. So I'm beginning to think my nose is blocked, but it's not. Um, they're just really good deodorants. The one thing I will say is, obviously, I have no hair under my arm. I've um, shaved or whacked my underarm and I'm female. So I have no idea what these are going to be like with men or with people with hairy pits. However, I'm really impressed so far as someone who gets eczema under their arms. And currently, I have no eczema on under my arms at all. So I'm really impressed with them both. So the sun is out. I've been home from work for a few hours, but I thought I'm going to hold off on the shower just to see if the smell kicks in. So this morning I used this one here and native on the right. So again, no body odor for the uh, salt of the earth and no body odor this way around, no body odor for native. So I'm really impressed. It was this morning at seven o'clock I applied the deodorant and the time now is five o'clock. So that's a good, oh, oh, it's a good 10 hours, isn't it? Impressed. Right, so as you'll see, another wardrobe change and another day and another location. Um, I've tried all four of these deodorants now over a period of about two weeks. And so now I've got to give you my opinion. So first of all, remember I'm female. Second, um, my underarms are, have been waxed or shaved. I always have waxed or shaved underarms. So I can't tell you what it's gonna be like for somebody who has uh, hairy underarms. And I can't tell you what it's gonna be like for somebody who is male. However, what I can do is give you my personal opinion, like I said. Now, of the four deodorants, I've got to say my favorite two smells were the uh, So Effective Liquid Deodorant Gel and the Procol Activated Charcoal Natural Deodorant Balm. I really like both the smells of these. Very, very different, but very, very refreshing. Um, and I would say out of, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by the fact that I didn't have a smell to my underarm with the unfragranced deodorant, the salt of the earth. And I was equally impressed with the native deodorant because I didn't think it was gonna work that well because um, even though it does have quite a strong essential oil smell, um, I didn't put as much on as I did with the others because I needed to rub it in later on with my fingers to get rid of the white residue. But I think overall, out of all of these, Salt of the Earth Classic um, on fragrance, the Citrus and Herbal Musk Native Deodorant, Pro Coal Activated Charcoal Natural Deodorant Balm, and the So Effective Liquid Deodorant Gel, I think um, the liquid gel is my favourite, um, simply because um, all of these were really good for those who have eczema, as in myself also. They didn't irritate my skin whatsoever. One thing, even though this is my favourite, it did have witch hazel in there. So the eczema that I already had, it gave me that stingy effect, which made me realise I had eczema. But like I said before, it wasn't caused by any of the deodorants, it was caused by antibiotics. So at least it gave me a heads up that I had some eczema under my arm. So overall, impressed with all of them. I can't really choose one over the other, but when it comes to personal smells, I think this was my favorite and it also went on the best. Um, it spread really quickly and it was absorbed really quickly and it dried really quickly. So 10 out of 10 for all of them, but 11 out of 10 for the So Effective Deodorant Liquid Gel. There you have it. Now, before we go, I'm going to say, remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the notification so you see when the next video is coming out. And there is a part two of another four deodorants coming out. So make sure you have a look and I will see you soon.